Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, everybody. Today, we're looking at the Star Wars X-Wing B-Wing Expansion Pack, released in 2019. Now, this ship was first seen in Star Wars Episode VI, The Return of the Jedi. The B-Wing, also known as the ASF-01 B-Wing Starfighter, is one of my favorite ships of all time. I remember watching Return of the Jedi for hundreds of times as a kid and seeing the Rebel fleet engage at the Battle of Endor and all these cool looking ships and fighters, it always thrilled me. I thought it was so awesome as a kid and as an adult, I still love it. You know, this is a cool ship that we saw in that film. Sadly, because of the times and the technology, we couldn't see these ships in hardcore action, but it was cool to see them and their S-foils open regardless. Now, for this particular vessel, I did get it from my local miniature shop called Red Seal Gaming. If you live in the New Jersey area near South Amboy, New Jersey, and you're into Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, or miniatures games like Warhammer, Dungeons & Dragons, or Star Wars X-Wing, I fully recommend going to check out their shop. They are expanding and growing, which I'm really happy about, because I we need a place like this in my town, and it's great to have a community building. Um, also, I will put links down below for anybody who would like to check out their Discord or their YouTube channel. They do a podcast, which is usually once a week, which talks about different game mechanics or different games in general, upcoming products. And they mainly like to talk about miniatures games such as Dungeons & Dragons, X-Wing, and different stuff like that. So if you're into miniatures games, I really recommend going to their shop or going to their YouTube channel. If you do, please tell them Dave from the Points of Articulation sent you. I think they'll get a kick out of that. You know, cool places with great people are very hard to find nowadays, so I am trying to support them all I can. Now getting back to this ship, like most X-Wing miniatures, it is in the 1 to 270 scale, and for its measurements, it's under two and a half inches tall and just under an inch long. So it may sound small, but just look at it. It's very tall compared to other ships. So where it's lacking in length, it has it in height or width if you turn it on the side. You'll see what I mean in a couple moments. But we do have a lot to cover today. If you're new to my channel, what I'd like to do is look at the tokens, the dials, and the cards, the rules that come with this particular piece. Check out the mold, look at the paint, put it on a stand, compare it to some other pieces, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. And now it's time for the dial token roll call. One maneuver dial. Two ship tokens, which are double-sided. One focus token. Three ion tokens. Three jamming tokens. One stress token. Four shield tokens. Three standard charge tokens. Two lock tokens, number eight. Three ship ID tokens. And finally, one dial ID token. So that does it for all the dials and tokens. So now let's take a quick look at those cards. Now, as always with my channel, I will read the name of the card. If you would like to pause the video to read the other data, by all means, go right ahead and continue when you're done. First up, and I'm probably going to butcher this, <laughs> Braylon Stram, 10 Nub, Blue Squadron Pilot, and Blue Squadron Veteran. So that does it for the ship cards. So now let's take a look at the upgrade cards. First up, Squad Leader, Fire Control System, Heavy Laser Cannon, Jammin' Beam, Electric Baffle, Advanced Proton Torpedoes, Afterburners, and Ion Cannons. So that does it for the upgrade cards. So now let's take a quick look at the Quick Build cards. Here's the first one, and here's the second. So that does it for all the dials, tokens, and cards. So now let's take a quick look at the little rules packet that comes with this, and then we'll take a look at that beautiful ship. Now when it comes to the rules of this particular set, it doesn't really have anything new to offer. On the first page of the pamphlet, it just has the name of the vessel and all the components that come with this particular set. On the other side, it just has the copyright crap and the credits for everybody who worked on this. And that's about it. So now, let's take a look at this beautiful ship. 
all right, all right, all right. Let's take a look at this beautiful mold, finally, right? So just like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the vehicle, and we'll get a nice close-up look to see those fine details. So for the major parts of this, it has a lot going for it. In the original canon, this was invented by Admiral Akbar. As we saw, it was sort of retconned in Rebels. This was designed to be a capital ship killer. Combining with ion cannons, bombs, and torpedoes, it's a heavy hitter. Now, for the major parts, we have our cockpit up here looking good. In the back, we have our escape pod. Basically, this would break apart. We never saw that in anything canon yet, but it's pretty cool. Now, moving down here, we have our shield generator. And this section right here where it's sort of negative space, this is extra torpedoes and launchers. So that's pretty cool. Moving down to this section here. We have our sensors and intake for the engines. In the back, we have our engines, which are painted, looking good. Coming back around, we have our wings, which look amazing, with two ion cannons, which is awesome. Moving back down, we have this nice wing, which is a blade. Now in here, about from here to here, is all different bombs or torpedoes, which is awesome. Down here, we do have a laser cannon, as well as another ion cannon. And basically, that's about it, besides right at the bottom, right about here, should be a bomb and shoot, or torpedo launcher. So, all in all, a fantastic looking ship. And that's not all, because it does have some moving parts. First of all, right here where the stand plugs in, it has the ability to rotate, and that can go all the way around. And it actually holds up, which is awesome. So if you could get one of those uh, pylons that they sell with the magnets on it, you could have some crazy possibilities with this. Now, besides that, we do have our cockpit. Now, every fan of the B-Wing knows that it's gyroscopic. So the actual cockpit is able to turn to fit the pilot's needs. So that's pretty cool. If anybody ever played Squadrons... For the Xbox or PlayStation, you'll know all about that function. So that's pretty cool. Besides those two moving parts, we do have wings that go up and down with a little hinge here and here. And that's awesome. You can see how it is pretty damn flat, which looks awesome. And then it could go up about that tall. Remember, you don't want to force any of these because they are very fragile. But all in all, a very nice ship, beautifully done, and it has some awesome moving parts. And because of that, you could get some cool poses on these on the shelf. So right on. Now, having a closer look, I just wanted to take a moment and say for the size of this particular vessel, keep that in mind. For something that's no bigger than two and a half inches, look at all the molding that is in here. The way the paint fills that all in, all those panel lines fantastic stuff coming right here we can see all this beautiful molding the black wash filling it all in a little heavy down there but not too bad turning it around you can see that beautiful mold very nice coming up this bottom wing we can see all this panel in here a little recess there some raised sections coming up this is beautiful and I might be a little biased because I love this design, but I like it. You know, it looks good. We got some recesses here, more paneling and raised sections, which looks great. And then the back is nicely curved. And that's what I sort of like about this. It's very aerodynamic looking. You know, everything's curved. There's no... Uh, right angles or anything like that in here we have some beautiful mold in there and the hinges for the most part are well hidden and i kind of like that now looking underneath the s foil wings again beautiful detailing look at that that is some awesome stuff now there is some negative space but that's due to having it be able to fold we have our laser cannon looking good. 
looking sharp on the top of that wing. Look at that. Now this little rod here above my fingernail is actually a laser sensor for targeting. So it would target with this. It's also on this one. And then once it locates an enemy and zeroes in, then it fires all the ion cannons and laser cannon. So pretty cool. Right here we see all these little pipes and hoses. Moving up, more panels and pipes. Good stuff. For the sides, very nicely detailed. Looking good. Again, the front section looking good. Same for this. Now the two sides are mostly identical. You can see the only thing different is the paint application. And I dig it. I think it's a cool design. Again, beautiful work here. Hoses and pipes. Very nice. Cool stuff. Now we have our engine section. And I always love the front here. We have our intake. Here we have our torpedo launchers on the top. And shields are back here. Looking cool. Nice angles and mold in there. Leading back to our engines. Which are recessed in and nicely molded around the thrusters. Very cool. I think this section is uh, probably my favorite part. Just lots of little things in here. Really nice. Again, we have our shield generator back here and torpedoes looking great. I love this section right here. Very nice with the panel lines, nice and rounded. We have our little neck here. Again, nicely done. And then look at this. The piece that goes around the cockpit is beautifully done. Very nice. A little recess in the back here with some molding, looking dope. And then we have our cockpit. Now underneath here, these little doodads, these are different sensors as well. Pretty cool. Now some data has one of these as a light laser cannon, but that was only in one data book, which was really old. We have some detailing down here as well with a plate. And then our recessed in cockpit window. Looking very sharp. It's actually a really cool fighter. Or bomber. Nice. So that's everything I had to say about the mold. I think it's really sharp. So now let's take a look at the paint. Alright, now looking at the paint for the Star Wars X Winga B Winga Expansion Pack. This bad boy features about seven different colors, believe it or not. First up, we have a nice off-white. Which is the main color from the top all the way to the bottom. I like it. It looks very accurate to what we saw in the film. I dig it. Moving on from there, we do have this nice blue, which is all over the ship. And I like it. Again, very accurate to what we saw in the film. Very nice. Beautiful. Now, also, we do have orange, which is located on the wing and on the bottom of the dagger blade right there. And it is on this side as well, up here. And underneath the wing. If we open up that one, you can see it's not on that side. So different circles all over it, which is awesome. Moving on from there, we do have some gray. Which is mainly located on the tips of the weapons. The ion cannons and lasers. Which is pretty nice. The engine intake. And support beams right here on the cockpit. We could also see some gray back here. And for the thrusters on the engines. Which looks amazing. Again, nicely done. Now moving on from there, we do have some yellow orange. For the engine glow. Now in the film, it is red. But whatever, I think it looks great. Leave it, right? <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Moving on from there. We do have some glossy black. You can see that for the cockpit window right here. And I love it. I think it looks great. Very nice and clean for the most part. Right on. And finally, 
you guessed it, a black wash, which gets in all these nooks and crannies and panel lines and really brings the detail to life and makes it pop. All in all, a fantastic mold with an excellent paint job. So now let's put this bad boy on a stand and compare it to some other vehicles before we conclude the video. Now, just like other X-Wing of vessels, you do get two rods to make a bigger pylon. You put them together, place them in the base like so. Take your ship, peg the port into the pylon. And just like that, everybody, you are good to go. And now for a quick size comparison with the Star Wars X-Wing B-Wing Starfighter scene in the center, I have some other second edition miniatures from the Star Wars line. First, on the right hand side, we have Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. This is found in the second edition core set. And finally, on the left hand side, we have the Rebel Y-Wing Starfighter, which is awesome. All these ships are in the 1 to 270 scale, and they look great together. And the coolest part of it is, not only do they look cool, but they have moving parts. The B-Wing, the winds could close. Same goes for the X-Wing. So some great stuff here. If you're interested in seeing reviews of any of these ships, check the links in the description below. So that does it today for my review of the Star Wars X-Wing B-Wing Expansion Pack, released in 2019. This ship is awesome, hands down. Now, what do we get in this set? As we saw, we get everything you need to add one B-Wing into your squadron for the Rebel Alliance. And no matter if you play this game, or if you're like me, who just collects the miniatures for now... This is a great ship. Sure, it may not be the best, but you know what? Every ship has a pro and con. Now, for me, as a collector, this looks great. And not only does it look great, but it has moving parts. And for me, that's... I would have never thought that something like this would ever exist as a child. Uh, the closest I ever got was a micro machine or an action fleet vessel. But this... This is amazing. Uh, the paint is not bad. I think there's only one area where the black wash is very heavy. But on the whole, they did a great job. I love the off-white, the blue and the orange, the gray. Everything works together, and it just reminds me of Return of the Jedi. You know, the paint scheme is right on there. Now, also with this set, you do get maneuver dials and tokens and cards so you can play with this. And the artwork on them is amazing, as always. And that's basically everything I have to say about this beautiful ship today. If you enjoyed this review, smash that like button. And if you'd like to see new videos every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my content. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.